Hey, how are you doing? I'm not sure what this means and how it's going to be implemented, but it definitely is a change. And I'm noticing uh, this is the second day where I've seen the Facebook news feed. Um, it's set at most recent, so this is just the, the feed of all the different posts of the pages that I'm watching. Is is now starting to actually, you know, you may have seen it before where maybe two different pages share the same link at the same time. So it says this page and three other pages shared a link. And Facebook has been kind of curating that so that you can see anybody who's in your circle of uh, friends and influence. If they're all sharing the same thing, you only get one post on your wall, and that sort of makes a lot of sense. But something that I'm seeing new is happening here, uh, right here. So, People's Boycott and 20 other friends all posted about Barack Obama. And chances are, these people didn't actually tag Barack Obama. So, if you look at this, uh, Politico, Young Turks, uh, The White House, Credo Mobile, Tim Pawlenty, Speaker Boehner. Um, what this is doing is actually putting lots of other very diverse opinions into what looks like the same post feed. You see this is listed right down here. This is the area. It's, it's only this. It's only this. So, and then I mean, I can actually go and I can. What happened here? Somebody else. Oh no, I just opened it up and now I can see every single one of those. What did the Young Turks say about it? They commented on a HuffPo. But don't put it on our tab. Uh, you know, a Tea Party front group is putting it on Raising Red. They're all about, you know, increasing Republican talking points. Memo talks about. Obama, but has pictures of, you know, Bachman in there. Uh, Yahoo News, just a regular person. Now they're quoting addicting info. What? This is a really interesting aggregated feed all about Barack Obama. Now these people, you know, they're they're not coordinating it, and they're not all posting the same thing. Obviously, there's there's like out of the twenty different things. Probably 18 of them are all entirely different. Here, he's calling him walking out of the debt. Uh, here it is, growing faster. So two different <laughs> approaches to the same story. And Palenti is probably bashing Obama, and so is Boehner. And notice none of these posts have Obama um, highlighted or tagged. Or, I mean, you can't even see, all right, there he is in the description, in the description, in the description. So I think that's it, is they are actually just reading and aggregating and combining the feed so that if the name, and it's a popular enough one, all comes up in, in an aggregated curated post. Keep an eye on how this works because it's going to change the way your newsfeed gets handed to you. And, um, you know, it's entirely possible I might not be following all these pages. You know, I do a fair amount of opposition research, so I'm, I may be on all these pages. It might only show me posts of people that I am already following or liking or friended to or like the page. That's probably the way it's working out here, but the the interesting thing is how, you know, here's the great thing about it. There's there's a very um, self-feeding, self-defeating echo chamber when people set up their own feeds. Um, <clears throat> and they're only hearing, kind of, they're preaching to the converted and they're hearing from people who are only on their side. Now, uh, my feed is set up a little bit differently with an awful lot more of variety and diversity of opinion so that's why we're getting you know complaints about Obama as much as support from Obama but um, that 
Facebook is actually going in and curating it and sticking them all into one lump where you can see that everybody else is talking about it all at once. Um, it's going to give you some interesting things. One, you're going to be able to notice trends a little bit more quickly if you see a really large expanded post like this. And two, you're going to have the, the overall trend of opinion and being able to uh, ascertain you know, what is public opinion, what is, uh, which way is the wind blowing on this, uh, more easily as they're aggregating it for you. I'm sure, you know, the more I look at this and the more uh, it evolves, there may be some uh, drawbacks to it. I'm not really sure how this is going to affect things, but it is definitely new, and it definitely uh, changes the way the, the posts and images are presented to you and aggregated and correlated for you. So, you know, I think the coolest thing you can do is, is go on out and find you know, some diverse opposing opinions to what your own politics and your own slant on an issue is. And uh, open up your feed so that at least you're liking the pages so you can at least get served an understanding of what's going on. Obviously, um, both sides can get entirely too virulent and, and sometimes you need to filter out the most hateful, obnoxious, argumentative on either side, on both sides. But by being able to have Facebook help coordinate and get a sense of the bigger picture and what all of the different opinions trending on a specific topic might be, well, not all of them, just these 20 that I happen to be following, but you get the point. And you can sculpt your view of Facebook to be more diverse and to work with this feature even better so that... Uh, you know, hopefully facts will kind of ring true in some of these echo chambers and pure PR points that are designed to only really kind of gin up the, the extremists on either side. You know, that that's a pretty divisive thing for, for the United States as a whole. That makes uh, getting along and finding resolution and just plain old liking your neighbors a lot more difficult. So the diversity of opinion and being able to see... Um, that there's an awful lot of takes, different takes on the same topic and on the same event, you know, I think that that's going to open up people's sense of understanding and empathy and cooperation. Um, and don't let this sound like too much kumbaya. Honestly, this is really a tactical, this is a very numbers strategy oriented thing where you can see, okay, I can tell Barack Obama comes up and I've got 22 posts on this. It would be really easy for me to separate out and divide uh, positive, negative, and indifferent on uh, on this, and um, without understanding of which way the wind's blowing, um, you can't seek to affect any change. And if only if you're only really hearing, you know, the most amplified and echo chambered and extremist opinions that only closely match your own, you know, that's that's not really going to put you in a position where your opinions can be very persuasive to anybody who's in the middle and open to persuasion. You know, your topics of conversation might only really be effectively heard and understood by the people who've already been won over. I mean, that's almost kind of like wasted time. That's almost like mental masturbation. That's not doing your cause any good if you're not educating and empowering uh, more people to understand, uh, agree, cooperate, and support it. And, and the, that's, those people are in the middle. That's like 95% of the United States right now. And that's where the real power to swing public opinion, uh, empower, educate, inspire, uh, to impact elections and public policy is by working and understanding within the 95% of the people who are kind of too busy to care and, and too confused to know super deliberately. The 5%, 10% uh, extremists on either or both sides you know, they're pretty well entrenched. It's it's not really likely that you're going to, you know, change any of those hearts and minds really super quickly. But a lot of other people are really just sort of open to what do my friends, family, colleagues, what's my community thinking about this? How does it really affect me? How does it affect their life, their family, their job, their kids? If you're talking to them from that position of in the middle family to family, friend to friend, community member, neighbor to neighbor, that's where the real power is. And 
that's kind of why I like this aggregating combined topic feed that Facebook does for me. You can do this in some other platforms too. I'm just happy to see that some things are changing to sort of break a little bit out of the echo. Um, but it, it's less effective if you don't try to break out of that echo on your own as well too. You've got to seed the feed so you can get um, diverse correlations and aggregations like this. Thanks a lot.